All right, let's let's do this next one here. Now that 16 has been knocked off. <clears throat> 2023, day 17. This one is called Clumsy Crucible. The lava starts flowing rapidly once the lava production facility is operational. As you leave, the reindeer offers you a parachute, allowing you to quickly reach Gear Island. All right, we're going to float down to Gear Island by parachute. As you descend, your bird's eye view of Gear Island reveals why you had trouble finding anyone on your way up. Half of Gear Island is empty, but the half below you is Giant Factory City. You land near the gradually filling pool of lava at the base of your new lava fall. There's lava fall. Uh, there's, there's little um, tool tips. as little Easter eggs in here. I was just wondering if that was one. Lava ducts will eventually carry the lava throughout the city, but to make use of it immediately, elves are loading it into large crucibles on wheels. The crucibles are top-heavy and pushed by hand. Unfortunately, the crucibles become very difficult to steer at high speeds, and so it can be hard to go in a straight line for very long. To get Desert Island the machine parts it needs as soon as possible, you'll need to find the best way to get the crucible from the lava pool to the machine parts factory. To do this, you need to minimize heat loss while choosing a route that doesn't require the crucible to go in a straight line for too long. There's some controversy about whether this is pronounced root or route. Um, fortunately, the elves here have a map, your puzzle input, that uses traffic patterns, ambient temperature, and hundreds of other parameters to calculate exactly how much heat loss can be expected for a crucible entering any particular city block. John5265 says, are you using a Mac? Yeah, the, the clue is, you know, um, I, you know, I've got this little Apple icon up here on the top left. Uh, but yes, this is a Mac. For example, we have a bunch of numbers. Each city block is marked by a single digit that represents the amount of heat loss if the crucible enters that block. Okay, so this is screaming at me, saying Dykstra, Dykstra, Dykstra. Um, the starting point, the lava pool is the top left of the city block. The destination, the machine parts factory is the bottom right city block. Okay, so we just have to get from upper left to bottom right in the fewest heat losses as possible. This is, yeah, this is 100% Dykstra. Because it's difficult to keep the top-heavy crucible going in a straight line for very long, it can move at most three blocks in a single direction before it can turn. It must turn 90 degrees left or right. Okay, so it's a little, little tricky. Uh, the crucible also can't reverse direction. Fair enough. It can only turn left, continue straight, or turn right. One way to minimize heat loss is this path. This path never moves more than three consecutive blocks in the same direction and incurs a heat loss of only 102. Whatever that means. I don't know what the units are on that. Directing the crucible from the lava pool to the machine parts factory, but what? But not moving more than three consecutive blocks in the same direction. What is the least heat loss it can incur? Yeah, okay. So this is all about Dijkstra. Or A-star, as Mizzard says. Yes, Dijkstra or A-star. In fact, so here's the bad news. You want to know what the bad news is? Um, I have a Dijkstra uh, source search. I have a Dijkstra search and an A star search in my AOC library. That's not the bad news. The bad news is these implementations suck. Um, Mohat says, I couldn't, uh, for the life of me, modify it according to the restrictions they wanted. It, I think it's just choosing the neighbors, right? Choosing your, your um, right? As you're going, through, let me re-familiarize myself with this A-star. I'll choose A-star just for the hell of it. Um, and this was implemented by looking at the Wikipedia article and just, you know, doing it line by line from the Wikipedia article, which is not the way to implement an algorithm. Because the Wikipedia article says, you know, here's the pseudocode, but you don't want to do it that way. You, you see what I'm doing here to pick the next best one? This is terrible. So I'll use my A-star approach, but I'm warning you now, it's going to be bad. Um, so maybe that'll be inspiration to improve it. Um, but just to get back to your, your statement, Mohad, it says B tree set. Yes, absolutely, B tree set. But... I'm not smart enough to be able to fold the, the B tree set into, you know, sorry, fold F score, G score, and the open set into the B tree set. I'm not smart enough yet. I don't have enough knowledge about how A star works under the hood to be able to do that. So, 
Malzak says, looks like your open set should be a minheap. Right. Um, this is the, the state, right? T is the state. And that's what I'm sticking in my open set. And if I make it a min heap or a beach reset, that works as a min heap. Um, you need more than just this state. You also need the cost. And that's one of the things I, I didn't implement yet, right? In my A star search is I don't have the cost in there, um, which is going to be complicated to add because I have other code that uses this stuff, which is going to break things. Um, yeah, here for all the previous ones, the cost has been one. So we're going to have to modify things. Um, <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add cost here. This is the, the um, state thing, uh, which you call on state, you get the subsequent moves. It tells you whether or not there's a win state. And now I'm going to add cost, which is just going to be use size because I'm boring. And then I can change this here to say uh, neighbor cost. But the problem now is that we, I need to pass in something to the cost function so that I can get back the cost. <laughs> Mizzard says, cargo add pathfinding. Yes. Uh, I'm, I, I bet, and I bet the pathfinding crate is a crate that has a star and probably other searches. I haven't looked yet, but I will. Nozick says, I thought your cost was the F score map. Now the F score is just the heuristic and you can use, you don't need to know the data in order to calculate the heuristic. Whereas if you're getting the actual cost, you need to know the data. So I'm going to have to change. Cost is going to have to pass in something here, which is going to break all my other code. So we'll, we'll watch that as that happens. The cost isn't constant because it depends on your exploration. Yeah, yeah. Cost is has how much it's going to cost to go from to to go from city block to city block essentially. Ego VP, thank you for the follow. All right, so for the cost, we're gonna have to pass in something that we can pass back, right? And that's gonna have to come into play. Um, what is it gonna have to have? It's gonna have to have some pub trait um, node, let's call it. And it's gonna have to have a cost function, a get value of self returning use size and that's what's going to go here and um, nodes which is n can I just throw it here or do I have to yeah like that and now that's going to change oops oh I hate when I do that okay let's go back here There we go. Yeah, so we have to pass in the nodes, which is good, but we don't have the nodes. So I'm gonna have to add that here, nodes, and which is now gonna break everything. Um, I probably have to put it here, nodes. Yeah, and now this doesn't have it. Um, unfortunately, it's easy to add. Right, because for anything else, uh, except I don't have this, do I? Building? I'm going to have to pass it in at some point. And it's just going to be one because the cost for all the other ones are just one. Oh, you size. Cost has zero type parameters? Oh. Can I just do that then? And simplify it even more. Nope, I have to import it. Okay, so now I should be able to, oops. Oh no. Code A3YY, right? Go back here, code A put, there we go. I don't know what happened. 
So that should work. And now this guy, this is uh, 2016 day 17. Oh, another day 17. That requires us to do, um, uh oh, this has a nodes already. Oh, okay. And 2016 day 24. And then a star search on this side, right? So we have to pass in the nodes. Um, so now it's uh, comma self, I think. Oh. Um, what is it saying here? Pass in the argument. Yeah, I have to pass in the self somehow, but I thought I had to self, right? Oh. Okay, so that means all the other ones. Hmm. Okay. Here's where I put the cost. I just want to get this to work. That's all. <laughs> um, but this should. Impl, oh, no, mm. I don't want to do it this way. Robin says, can you add a default implementation for cost instead? I probably can. Um, but what I'm having, what I'm, um, what's generating pain right now is that, oh, right, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So what we need to do is impl, um, I wonder if I can. So if, if I do that, let, let's let's see if I can. Um, impl a default um, cost, which would get us a one, right? So if I go back to search, can I do this? Right? And then this needs to impl no, the okay, impl nodes for AOC 2022 24 fn get value self you size one. I guess I, I can't. There's no way to just have it impl. If I made a macro, then it would work, right? Oh, wow, I have this everywhere, huh? There we go. Oh, that's all I had to do. Okay. Um, if I change this back now, will it break the other things? Okay. Um, what if I go up here? Can I do a cargo build from here? Okay, so we just have a bunch of uh, warnings that we're not using the nodes. So I can I can fix those up. And then we're back to being able to try to use my uh, hacky A star. Uh, no ignore case, nodes, underscore. underscore 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 that's it okay cargo build now look it's running day 16 for each one of those that's funny um so let's switch back to where we were oh wait that's right okay Okay, we're on day 17 though, so we have to um, get day 17 going. Why? Oh yeah, I haven't even started day 17 yet. I'm just updating my search code. Um, crates, 
MC lib search, source search. All right, so now we actually have to use the cost. Um, is that all we need to do for that? And then when we import cost, it's going to have to call back into node saying get value. Okay. Understood. I think I, I think I get it now. A whole bunch of kerfuffle. AOC 2023. 20, yep. Oh, crates. AOC 2023. There we go. So let's, let's, let's start 17 now. Not that I added the cost variable to the A star. Seventeen, seventeen, day seventeen. Um, you see, twenty-three, seventeen. There we go. Misery says, "Commit your changes first. Good, good idea. Good idea. From here, right? Get add." source and AOC 2016 and AOC 2022 All right just those guys we don't want that and we don't want that perfect git commit dash m added cost function to a star search Riven says never commit that's what my wife was worried about. All right. Um, I think this is going to be, I mean, once we get the data loaded, it's just a matter of um, figuring out the moves. Let's do the easy stuff first. Let lines equals AOC lib read lines input 2023.17.txt, which I haven't gotten yet. Let's get that. Get input. 23317. Okay, 141 lines. And a lot of columns. This is going to take a while to get through. Let's um let's grab this because I'm probably going to want to use this for, for testing. Um, because it's going to be painful, like I said, with my extremely slow implementation. Uh, test input. All right, so we just say for. Should we do Vecca Vecca again? Um, what is this? Oh, this is the city. Oh, vec, vec of U8. That's all we need. For line in lines. For outlet mut row equals vec new. For ch in line chars why am i doing it this way i should just do it this way uh self city push line chars map ch ch as u8 minus zero will it auto collect for me let's find out Self city len. Okay, so, but I should be able to say push. Um, oh, I was thinking I could do like a from iter, but not. Let's just do collect. Attempt to subtract with overflow. Really? What characters am I getting? I mean, this is the test input.
Visitor says, I always use bytes. Um, okay. I mean, that's, that's one way to, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I put my test, oh, I'm in the wrong directory, that's why. See, 2023. Let's try again. There we go, 13, that's wrong. <laughs> oh no, that's right for the test input, okay. Mizzard says, how does get input authenticate? Um, I just use a, um, I, I stole the session key. I mean, we can look at get input. I didn't store the, the, the session key in there. I have it in a file. Right, so I stuck my session key in a file, and then I just use curl. Uh, where is it? Here, this curl line here. That's all, nothing fancy. Um, all right, 13. So now I think it's just, like I said, it's just, we'll do an A star. And in order to do A star, Smap says, I keep my session key in an environment variable. Yeah, I did that for a little while and then I got nervous because if I accidentally, you know, for whatever reason, dumped out my environment to take a look at something, uh, there it would be. <laughs> so that's why I said, oh yeah, I'll just put it in a file that I know I'll never cat. Um, but the truth is, you know, even if, even if I did accidentally splat it out on screen, I could just click log out real quick and then get a new session key. Excuse me. All right. Um, Dijkstra, Dijkstra, Dijkstra. So you can do a star search, which I have in my AOC lib. I'm going to jump to it to see what I have to, what arguments I give it. Okay. So we need state. Actually, this is going to be what gets output. So I don't need that. I can just do that. And I can see it's returning uh, a state. It doesn't return the path either, which is you know something we need to work on, <laughs> and a U size. So that's all we're gonna return is the U size. Now we just need to figure out what goes in here. The start is gonna be a starting state. So what are we gonna need to know? We do need to know the location. So let's do that. Um, struct state. Our current location is gonna be uh, row column. We need to know the direction we're going, right? Uh, you know what? I'm going to switch these all to eye sizes again because I learned my lesson from last time. And we also need to know how far we've gone in that direction because you can only go three, right? Yeah, not moving more than three consecutive blocks in the same direction. So we need a count. Maybe that one could be U size. So our starting state is gonna be, we're at position zero, zero. Our direction is gonna be, what direction do we start? Do we get to pick the direction that we start? We, so we can go um, to the right or down? Okay. Because you already start in the top left block, you don't incur that block's heat loss until you leave that block and then return to it. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm guessing that we can just go right or down. Um, so it doesn't matter which direction we're going to get here because we're gonna go either direction. We just need to make sure that we can go at least three in each direction. So I'm going to say we're going to the right just to pick a direction and then count is going to be zero because we haven't gone anywhere yet. All right, that's our starting state. The next thing we need is the heuristic. <clears throat> um, and the heuristic takes in a state and returns a U size. So we can say state, and I don't know what what a uh, good heuristic for this. We'll just do a distance. Um, do we have? We don't have width and height. Let's add those. Um, 
this is height. And then width is self city of zero. Okay, so then this just becomes um, self width height minus state position zero plus self width minus state position one. And that's a whole heuristic. Do I have to brace that? Expected three arguments. Really? Oh, oh, because of this thing. Yeah, I haven't finished the nodes. The nodes is just self, which I have to implement um, nodes for. Okay. Impl nodes for AOC 2017. Uh, let's pull it in. Let's implement the missing members and the get value. Okay, so now we need to know. Oh, you know what get value needs is a row column. And because I need to make it generic, we have to do it that way. So row column. And that's going to break my other code, which I'll have to just live with. Um, right? Really? I thought there would be more. I thought there would be more broken, but I guess that's the only one that's broken. Okay. Um, let me commit those changes. Git status. Git add this guy and this guy. Git commit dash m um, added row call to value retrieve oh there we go um and then what are we missing okay so we just need to now look up the value right so it's just self let's make this a little less messy self dot city of row call as you saw us all right, we're getting closer. Type must be known at this point. Don't we? Don't we already know the type of the state? Oh, I need to give it a, a reference to a state. And we haven't implemented searcher yet. Okay, so we have to do that. Um, impl searcher for state. This guy, and implement the missing members. Okay, so the Cost is easy. We call self. No, we call nodes get value. We have to pass in the state to the cost variable. OK. Oh, no, I was looking for search. Uh, search. Oh, no, self self is the state. OK, so it's self dot pause of zero right so nodes get value self pause zero as u size self pause one as u size and that gives us our cost no field on option type okay um, we do need to make this hashable and probably a few other things derive copy clone debug partial eq eq and hash how about that Ooh, we're down to one error oh expected use size okay there and now we're not let, not yet implemented on 177 so the win state, that means we've gotten to the end, right? So we can say self pause zero is equal to self width, self height. 
Wait a minute. How do we determine the the, the win state? Um, how do I do? How do I do it for other ones? Because we we need to know the width and the height, right? We need to know if we hit the wind. And here we know it because we have, we're passing in the notes. Spoof. Thank you for the follow. Hello. Um. Is win state. And John, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Uh, AOC 2016. Uh, source AOC 2016-17. So how did I do this? Oh, I had a specific location there. Okay. Um, what about 11? Was it also hard-coded? Self-floor. Oh, that's interesting. That's not good. Um, this has the entire. Okay, this it, it's passing in the entire thing. So we actually have to change this up and pass in the nodes. Um, and have it also have a get width and get height. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna modify this. Uh, get width. This is not generic anymore, right? It's assuming that it's going to be a grid. Um, so that's something I'll have to change is uh, make it um, uh, have it pass back a win state, which is a uh, a searcher, right? So this would have to be get win state, which passes back a searcher. I don't know if that's going to even work. What does that mean? That can't be made into an object because cost has generic type parameters. So I can't pass back something at implement searcher. I do it that way. Well, it didn't complain about that one. Um, Let's just do that for now, just to get this to build. And when is win state has two parameters. Oh, right. So I wanted to change this. Is win state. Um, and nodes. Spoof says impulse searcher. Is that is that a better way to go? It didn't like my din searcher, so it didn't occur to me impulse searcher might be a better approach. Yeah, see trait is only allowed in function and inherent return types, not trait method return types. But you're saying that this might just break my um, my other code. Where are we? Yeah, it is win state, so I have to pass in nodes. Okay. Oh, oh, this is in Dijkstra search now. Oh no, I broke Dijkstra search. Um, nodes and nodes. Wizard says, um, nodes s searcher up here nodes s searcher would mean that nodes would take a a generic type right i don't think i can do that at least not yet um and here Oh, I do have to specify end nodes. Or can I actually put the um, AOC lib thing in here directly? And we'll rust infer that. Yeah, it looks like it. 16, 
there. Oh. Is win state has zero type parameters? What? But I just did it in the other one, didn't I? No, it just it okay. I guess not. Yeah, a spoof. I see what you mean by not wanting these things here. Um, it'd probably be cleaner just to be able to pass in something. But I got to do it this way because this is where I'm where I'm at now. Oop, this should just be n. Wizard says maybe an associated type s searcher. Okay. Well, let me let me get this to let me solve the advent of code and then we can we can refactor um not all tree types implemented get win state oh right right okay so get win state is just going to return the state of um position of self width no height minus one self width minus one right and endure doesn't matter and the count doesn't matter Right. Oh no, this is saying expected s because of the return type and doesn't state impl searcher. As S, yeah, I don't think you can do that. Non-primitive cast, yeah. Um, and two. <laughs> this would make it very specific, right? Okay, I'm not going to do that either. Um, why can't I why can't I return state as a searcher type? Um, imp, yeah, I think we ch I tried that before. Impl s. Um, I'd have to switch back here and add that. Oh, not here. Uh, search and add impl s, which I think it failed last time we tried this. I can't do impl searcher either. All right. Yeah, that's that's too bad. I, I got to figure out a way to do that. Um, but right now what I'm going to say is get width and, and get height. And that way I can just at least get my get today's puzzle solved, right? Uh, get width, uh, self, resize. Uh, I'm just going to be self width as you size. Right, and then get height. Mizzou says that the call that means a caller can pick the return type, and I'm returning a specific type. Yeah, but it should be able to be converted into. Yeah, I, I guess I don't know enough about how this stuff works. Um, we can do that, and this just with n nodes. Okay. Now we panicked at line eighty one. Oh. New size zero. I'm just going to shove these in here because it, they don't matter for this one. And then this is nodes, nodes, n. And then this is 2016. Oh, I'm, I'm missing, okay, self. So I'm gonna have to go through, oops, and, and fix all of that stuff as well. Uh-oh. Required by a bound. Oh, I haven't implemented nodes, okay, yeah. Oops.
right? And none of these are called, so it doesn't matter what they are. Okay, and we have the same problem here. And I can say the same thing here, impl nodes for AOC. Isn't that what I just did last time? Oh, that's the wrong one. V. Oh no. So longest path needs it. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, notes. AOC 2016, 17. We'll get there. Um, where is this now? AOC 16, 24. Okay. All right, is it actually building now? Now this is just a warning, right? Okay, so we just have warnings. Can we now do the thing that I want to do? Uh, 2317, oh, which doesn't exist. Uh, source AOC 17. All right, so the only thing that left is the hard part. Oh no, the, the this part here. Okay, so the wind state is, um, if we're on the last one. So if self pause zero is equal to nodes, oh, yeah, get width. And I keep doing that. Height self pause one equal nodes get width. There. Intohemo says you should commit. Yeah, I should. You're right. And C2016, AOC2022, and AOC lib. Added uh, a way to find the end state. Okay. I'm surprised I never needed to know that before. Um, what is this saying? Saying? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Um, uh, let end equals get height. There we go. Line 81, not yet implemented. Okay, we're finally at the point where we can do the moves. Um, and the moves need some nodes as well. <laughs> so now we're gonna have to add that there. Right? Um, so we have to go back to search. This is becoming more and more painful every day. Um, moves. Uh, moves, nodes. Right. Um, do we? Yeah, we do because we need to know if we're going off the off the deep end or not. Okay. So each one of these needs this nodes thing. So it might be. at the point where I actually put it up here or something. All 
right, next one. Next one. Any more? One more. And now we have to actually pass it in. Self. Oh no, notes. Okay, we're getting closer. Um, can we go back to that now? Here we go. Good monk says a lot of refactoring going on today. Yeah, because I'm I'm stubbornly using my own A star search instead of just grabbing one from a crate that's already been implemented. All right. So how do we come up with the, the moves? Um, we're finally back to the puzzle, I think, finally. So if we're here and we're heading in some, uh, let, let's just pick this one here. All right, let's say we're heading up. So we can go up again as long as we haven't hit three ups before us. Or we can go to the left or we could go to the right. So let's create that DERS array again. Um, up, right, down, and left. Okay. And in truth, we can, I could just put it on the um, in the uh, in the struct. So I don't have to create this each time. So now we can say we want to consider all four directions, right? For dir and durs. And we have a current direction in our state, which is in self. So if self dir is equal to dir and self count is less than three, right? If we're going in the same direction, and we haven't gone three times in that direction, then we can generate a new move, a new state. We're gonna to have to create a return value here. Let mot the successor states or neighbors or whatever you want to call them. Push state our new position. Oh yeah, we need to actually calculate the new position first. Uh, just make sure we're not going off the map. Let pause is equal to self pause zero plus dir zero, comma self pause one plus dir one. Um, if pause zero is less than zero or pause zero is greater than or equal to nodes get get width. I imagine I'll be using it more than once. Right. Um, height or pause one is less than zero or pause one is greater than or equal to width. Then we're going to continue. We'll try a different direction. If we're going the same direction and we haven't gone at least three counts, then we're going to create a new state pause, the new direction, and count of self count plus one right else if self dir is not equal to the current direction um oh we, we need to make sure we're not going backwards we can add that up here right if dir let me check backwards i guess it's just negating both of them because negating zero is just zero again if dir is equal to self dir zero and minus self dir one, I think that'll work. Continue. All right? Can't, mustn't go backwards. Must go off the map. All right. Um, so if we're not 
That means it's got to be left or right because we already took care of backwards up here. So then suck push state, pause doesn't change, dirt doesn't change, and the count is just one. Right? I think that's everything. And we can clean this up some more. Um, Well, this is good. This is good enough. We have a um, syntax error because I forgot to do this part. And then we just return the successors. Push. Push. All right. What, what blows up? Dereferencing the borrow. Oh, for all of these durs. Yeah. You know, we're only looping over them once. I can cheat. Oh, right. Although I did only end up using it once, those things once. Option unwrap on none value, 45. That's probably the, uh, yeah, the search. Okay, so that means we failed our search. <laughs> Oops. Um, this is straightforward though, right? Don't go backwards. Don't go off the map. Is there anything here that's wrong? This is our new position a new direction. This looks fine. Okay, so let, having said that, let's print out what we're doing here. Print lin from self. We're going to go suck. All right, so from position zero, zero, direction zero, one, which is down. Oh, did I do both? I did not do both. I did not do both. Okay, so our starting state has to be able to go both direct. Um, yeah, but we get that from here. Okay, zero, 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 one. So we're going to go down. Let's, let's see, I, I'm going to run this um, here and stick it in less because it's going to be easier to find pause zero comma zero. Oh, um, pause zero comma zero. There we go. So there should be two of those. Yeah, here's the other one. Oh. Oh no, this is coming to this location from from the east. So we're going west. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. But I want to be able to go right. So this is going right. I also want to go from this location down. And it should come up with that state. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is where we were, and this is where we're going. So this is going to go to the right, and this is going down. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, so that's right. Okay, so let's see what else we messed up. Oh, that was dumb. Let's see if that was the bug. 102. What was the actual answer supposed to be? Oh, 102. I think I got it. I think we're there. Uh, so let's do the real input. Uh, I might have to run this in release mode because, like I said, my implementation base star sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, let's read the real input now. Uh, cargo run release. Uh, let me take a look at the warnings. I don't see any warnings. Ooh, I panicked. No such file or directory. Oh, did I never get my input? I did. Oh, I was probably in the wrong directory. I bet you it was in here. Yeah. 
We should have to do a git mv. Right, and then rmdir. There. Okay, git commit put file incorrect location. All right, try again. Slow. All right. Um, yeah, I don't have time <laughs> or knowledge to fix this uh, in terms of speed, so I'm just going to let it run. Um, oh, Robin, yeah. So you saw you saw my mistake. I was just reading the chat now. Spoof says, I, I think you aren't supposed to commit inputs to version control. Is that true? I've been doing that all along. If I've been 859. Let's see if that's right. Hey, that's the right answer. But it took 31 seconds to get there. Um, spoof, now I'm concerned because I've been, I've been, if you look at my um, thing, I have all the inputs here. Uh, under the, each individual thing. Is there a way I can, if I'm not supposed to put those, I, I have to apologize. And is there a way to remove them? I don't know. I'd, I might have to just blow away the repo and, and create a new one without all the inputs. Oh, okay. If you're posting code repository somewhere, please don't include parts like the puzzle text or the input. Ah, okay. Riven says I can clean the repo. Okay. I will, I will do that off stream. Uh, I want to get part two done though, because I'm, I've been going very long and I don't normally stream for more than an hour and a half or so. All right, let's continue to part two. The crucibles of lava simply aren't large enough to provide an adequate supply of lava to the machine parts factory. Instead, the elders are going to upgrade to ultra crucibles. Ultra crucibles are even more difficult to steer than normal crucibles. Not only do they have trouble going in a straight line, but they also have trouble turning. Once an ultra crucible starts moving in a direction, it needs to move as minimum of four blocks in that direction before it can turn or even before it can stop at the end. However, it will eventually start to get wobbly. An ultra crucible can move a maximum of 10 consecutive blocks without turning. Okay. So it would be 94 on the test input. And here's another sample input that takes 71 using the ultra crucibles. All right. Um, I think that boils down to in part two, bull. Self in part two. False. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Let me uh, commit these changes first. Git status. Git add source. Git commit dash am. Oh, dash m. 2023 day 17 part one. I think I think I'm going to go with the nuke approach. Um, thanks for um, letting me know about this spoof. I appreciate it. Um, it. Is part two. I don't like being on the wrong side of uh, advent of code. What am I doing? Right, so we just need to say is part two bool. And in part one, we say no. Right? And then in part two, we say true. This is not a not the best way to do it, but I can't pass data into the A star search other than through the node thing or in the state. I could put it in the state, but then it's everywhere in the state, right? Um, and now here in moves, we have to check to see if we're in part one or part two. Um, let min max equals self in is part two. No, is Wednesday in part two. If 
is part two. Yeah, I call it is. Okay. Is part two. Then we're going to have a minimum of, what was it, four? Minimum of four and a maximum of ten. So four, four to ten. Else, zero to three. Right? And then here, the self count is less than max. We can continue going that direction. Self count greater than or equal to min. We can continue going in that direction. Oops. Oh no, it's right. Oh, Robin, thank you for the for the link. Um, I will. I'll ch I'll check that out as well. Oh right, I can't just get it from the nodes. I need some sort of nodes metadata. All right, then what we'll do is we'll put it in the state. This is pretty hacky, but this will work. Uh, this is making me sad. This whole solution is making me sad. Uh, and that means we have to shove it in here as well. Is part two. And that's going to change this. Okay. I still have four warnings, but it's not showing up here, so they must be in a different binary. Uh, I'm going to switch back to the test input um, because it's probably going to take forever on the 9494. That's not good. I should I made a mistake here. False. So it should be 102 9094. Okay. And was it 94? Yes, 94. Perfect. All right, we did something right. Um, now I just need to do it with the real input and, and then we can go get a cup of tea or something. It should tell me the overall time already. I don't need to do a time thing. Right? That's right. It takes 30 seconds just to get part one. And then it's going to take like 10 times that for part two. Meanwhile, tell me, let's take a look at your solution. Mohat says 30 seconds is very weird. It's because I have a stupid implementation of A star. Um, I have a very bad A star implementation. Dijkstra algorithm. There it is. Yeah, see, you, you use a binary heap. This is, this is the smart way to do it. That way you just pop it off. Right? You just do a pop. I have some stupid code going on trying to find the best. Um, so I, I just need to sit down and, and get a good handle on how Dijkstra works properly. I mean, I, I know high level how it works, but it, until I can do a, uh, get a good proper mental model of Dijkstra, I can't come up with this on my own. And I want to come up with it on my own. Moha, let's take a look. Copy link address. Paste and go. Oh, this must be part one, right? Less than three. Oh, yeah, it says right there, part one, duh. All right, and then you have your own Dijkstra, of course. So now you're popping off the heap. You're reversing. Yeah, so you, you stick the state in there. Okay. Or the, the distance in there, the cost. If we hit the finish and we do that, vertical fastball. Thank you for the follow. All right.
Um, who else had? Uh, does anybody else have anything? Smab, where's your? Uh, I don't see your chat. With the uh, with the link in it. How did I lose that? Or was it much earlier? No, I don't see it. So now if you oh here it is here it is oh I, my eyes just glossed over copy link address and apparently this is the only solution <laughs> very clever so one one thing I can do while I'm waiting for this let's create a new let's have a race uh, cargo new um, search what was that um clumsy right for clumsy crucibles uh cargo at i think it was pathfinding you said let's take a look at pathfinding uh lib.rs okay it's got a star uh, that's just a link to the wikipedia page um let's take a look at the api um Hello, how do I, A star? There it is, pathing to, okay, A star, A star, got it. Oh, okay. So you need a successors function, a heuristic function, a success function, and you can stick those all in, in one spot, okay. So we can do this, um, let data equals standard FS. Read to string. Uh, expect. All right, and then for we can do the our grid again. Uh, for line in data lines. Um, let row. Oh, grid, push, line, chars, map, <clears throat> ch, ch as u8 minus b0, collect, back, right, and then print line, line, Oh, Gridlin. Uh, we'll have to copy the file over. Great, AOC. 2023, input. Simple team. Uh, let's run that. 141, okay. So we have to write A star. So this is just going to be print line A star of some massive number of things are starting okay so we still need a start oh it finished 1029 oh it's too high after all that work it's too high oh uh, i got it right for the the test input okay so we'll, i'll finish this in a little bit Rates AMC 2023. 17. All right, what, what could we could we have gotten wrong here? Code Monk, you're right. I missed that completely, didn't I? Ah, it needs to move a minimum of four blocks or even before it can stop at the end. Okay, so now our wind state is a little different. Um, self is part one, or part two, and part one, right? Not part two and it's end, or it is part two, and self count is greater than or equal to four 
and self pause is equal to end. Right? But I was also thinking here, when we start off our state, our very first state, has a count of zero. And that's because we haven't moved yet. And I just need to make sure that this is going to work. Here. Because it, it's checking here. It's got to be greater than the minimum before it can go in this direction, right? So I think I need to do this as well here. I have to, have to say count is self count is equal to zero. Or this. I don't think I need the brackets around that because I think um, and is uh, has um, higher precedence than or, but I suck them on there. So if count is zero, it means we are our starting state because all the other starts states start at one. So we can go in any direction we want. Oh, I should make this uh, say go up, right? Just so it's not equal to anything that we would be going in. So because we're gonna go down and to the right and we'll start off our count as one for all, both of those. All right, I think that's good. Um, let's kick this off again. I got uh, five and a half minutes, a little over five and a half minutes to do this other one. Let's see if we can do it. So state is going to again have the position, uh, direction, and um, account. Uh, I could probably just steal the code, right? Um, the move code here. Will this will this copy and paste between invocations? Oops. Yeah, look at that. All right, so this is the moves code. Um, but we have to stick it directly in there, right? Here. Successors. That's what we're writing now, is successors. Um, so A star <clears throat> takes a start state. So this is going to be our start state. Position of uh, zero, zero. Uh, direction of, I'll put zero, zero. Because that way it definitely won't match. And the count of zero. <clears throat> my voice is going now this is why i don't stream more than two hours um then we need to come up with the successors which is a function which takes a reference to our current state and does all of this um so instead of nodes we're gonna have grid grid um zero len and grid len um, this I'm just going to put for heuristic I'm going to have to come back and fix all that state heuristic I'm just going to have return zero um, and then success will just be a function that returns false for now. Right? And then we can close the print and we're done. Pathfinding directed A star, I guess. Expected function found module A star, not a function. Oh. Now everything gets messed up. Wow. Oh, right. This is an option. So we're going to say unwrap one. All right. We're going to 
take the C, which is our count. Okay, the next thing is, oh yeah, we got to fix all these. Um, I guess for now, we'll just put min max here. And this is not self count, but state, sorry, self dir. So all these selfs turn to state. Right? Um, and I didn't put is part two in there, so we don't need to do it here. Because we don't need to pass the that information down anymore. All right, what's left? No field dir. Oh, it doesn't know. This is. Oh, oh, because I. Mm. Okay, now we need to add a bunch of stuff to this, right? Let's throw them all on. Derive. Uh, copy. Clone. Partial. EQ. EQ. Debug. What else is good? Hash. Oh, type mismatch revolving state into iterator. Let's see if I can. Oh. What's it expecting? Expected tuple state something found state. Oh, oh, it's expecting this to return the successor states plus the costs there. Okay, um, we can do that. We can totally do that. So instead of pushing just the state, we're going to push the state plus the cost of getting to that state, which is grid pause zero as u size, pause one as u size. Right? And we have to do that here as well. Not there, here. Um, right, it's a tuple. There we go. 10.30. So I was off by one. Ah, my answer is too high. Oh, I should have seen that last time my answer was too high. All right. I mean, this builds. Oh, yeah, I don't have the um, heuristic yet or the wind state yet. Hmm. All right, what else is wrong here? Let's try with the test input again, now that I made some changes. No, oh, it's still giving me the right answer. Okay, there's something else going on. Count has to be at least four, and we have to be at the end for part two. If we're not in part two, then we just have to be at the end. Okay, I think that's all right. I put zero three here instead of one three, but that shouldn't make a difference. Jeff Foe says, I wonder if starting should be one, not zero. Well, I, I put that the zero in there directly so that I could um, short circuit any messed up stuff. I wonder if, if I put zero, zero here. Maybe something's getting messed up here. This way, dir won't ever be equal to that. Our new direction will be here.
and we're not going off the map. Yep, so it says uh, with ma less than max, max distance is 11 counting the starting block. Yeah, I'm, so I'm starting it here as one, right? So that successive um, searches will find, we'll see that. And then as long as we're less than the max, where did I put less than max here? As long as we're less than the max, right? So we've gone, so we start off one in that direction. And then once we hit 10 in that direction, then we stop doing that part. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing what, what the bug might be then. I mean, this is the this is a basic function here. There's nothing special about this line. And these look right. They work for the, the test input. Let's try the other test input and see if we can get get this one. See if that shows any. Um, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be seventy-one. And it is. Oh wait, part one is fifty-nine. Is that right? I thought it was a different number. It should be one hundred two. Oh right, 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 right. Never mind. It's a different. It's a different thing. He didn't give us the answer for the um, for this one. All right, so it's working for the test input. But there's, um, what could be different about the test input? Yeah, so I think this is the correct test here as well. If we're gonna, if we wanna change directions and we have gone at least as far as we're supposed to. Robin Wolfe says you get the same apple with the pathfinding library. That's a good question. I never finished the pathfinding one, but let's, we can try that. Maybe that'll give my brain a little break from this mess. We got to finish this here, uh, the heuristic, which is going to be self grid len minus state pause zero plus self grid zero. I dip, I'm doing self. There's no self. I'm just look at grid um, zero len minus state pause one that's that heuristic right and then the win state is we're just doing part one right now so actually you know what i can do since i'm using it a lot that width equals uh, height equals grid len as a size Let width equals grid zero len as i size right we can go down here height width and now we'll do for for this this is the win state so it's state pause zero equals height minus one and state pause one equals width minus one Um, as you size. Can I add something? Oh. Expected you ate. Really? Why is it expecting a U8? What does it think these are? I size, I size, U size, yeah. Um, let's take a look at this thing here. This is a heuristic. Oh, it's expecting, um, yeah, cost. Oh, yeah, and my cost values are all. Um, Um, where do I compute the cost? Because that's what I need to change. Yeah, yeah. So this is as 
Vsauce. So now the costs should all match up. Okay. Uh, let's try running it. 859 for part one. I think it ran a little faster than mine. Let's try part two. Four and ten, and then I have to change the end condition here. Self count is greater than equal to four. And right. State count. Ten twenty seven. I'm close, but what's the difference? I'm running the exact same code. It must be my implementation of A star sucks so bad. There we go. That's the right answer. Oh, uh, and I it ran a little bit faster than mine. Smap gives me two stars, even though my code isn't solving it. Well, some of my code is. So what's different? What's different? Ah, uh, I don't know. Good monk says, that's the right answer. Congratulations. Thank you. Now if I can get my code to give, give us the right answer. Let's take a look at the advent calendar. Oh, look at this. This is cool. The, um... The lava is spilling onto the gears here. Tomorrow's puzzle is going to be right here. Right in the path of the lava. So that's going to be fun. This map says, you got the stars from the website. You can't give them back. All right. Is it worth debugging my code? I think it is because I don't want to push code that's broken. Um, let's do this. Diff. That. Clumsy source me. I mean, it should it should find some patterns that are the same here. Let's do this. No, it's it's not it's not able. Diff isn't smart enough to be able to line that up. Oh well. <clears throat> Smab says, what did you do in 2021 day 15? It was very similar. I probably just waited a long time for my code to complete. Let's take a look. Oh. <laughs> You sure it was day 15? This is, uh, well, all I did was a uh, end cubed calculation. <laughs> That's terrible. Gotta love it. Uh, 17, there we go. Oh, d oh, sorry, 2021, my mistake. What am I doing? Right? Oh, I don't have 2021. 2021's in a different repo. I don't know why I put it in a different repo. Um, repo. Here it is. Source. Which day? Day 15. Yeah, I, here I wrote my own A star search. Now, if I was smart enough to do it here, why couldn't I? Why wasn't I smart enough to do it there? And then I also had a Dijkstra search. I said so what I should do is take these two functions and put and port them over to my new library, because obviously I was smart enough here to do it. So there, there you go, Smav. That's my answer. Um, but I still would like to know where things are failing 
here. Oh, is this the bug? All I did was change part one, I didn't change part two. All right. Oh, um, right, I gotta switch the input back. All right, while that's running, let's refactor the clumsy solution. So that we can run both of them for min max in uh, zero three four ten do this right is that all we need to do Um, index. All right. Nope. Oh, okay. And it shouldn't, it doesn't like that. Okay, I can't do that. Um, and I want these U sizes, right? But now I have to deref them. Oh, misery, thank you. Even better. There we go. Uh, time, target, release, clumsy. Unwrap with a none value. Oh, I mean, oh, I know why. Because I forgot to change the um, end condition for part two. Um, So we can say if max is equal to 10, then we have this, else we have this. Oh no, we can say if max is 10 and state count is less than four, then false, else, right? Nope. What am I doing here? Oh, this is what's missing. Okay. There we go. All right. If the max is 10, I mean, part two, and we haven't gotten four at least, then it's false. Always false. Otherwise, it's whether or not we hit the end. Okay. All right. So it took 0.182 seconds to run it using uh, a proper code base for both parts. And here I'm still chugging away at, um, all right, what do we got? Git diff. All right, okay, let's, let's put, yeah. git um, commit dash am uh, a star tweaks and 2023 day 17 part two because it all came as one package unfortunately git status um, that's it git push right and then I'm going to clean up my repo I'm going I'm to nuke it and um, Remove all the inputs and then denuke it. Um, this is still going. So as soon as this finishes, if it's 1027, I'm going to wrap up the stream. Two and a half hours. Insane. And then guess what I'm doing in um, 
a little over 12 hours from now. Day 18. Yeah, Mizzard says, git ignore the input files. Exactly. Yeah, I'll just throw those in my git ignore. Well, any input directory. <clears throat> um, I, I do have to change my git input, though, because that automatically um, adds. There we go. Yep, I think that's it. That's all the Git stuff. Good. So next time I do a Git input, it won't uh, it won't commit it to my repo, or it won't attempt to. <clears throat> Is it five minutes? Has it been five minutes just now? So let's take a look here. Yeah, so this was the, I guess we can look at the leaderboard and see how I did for today. Oh, wow. So it wasn't, but today's wasn't that bad, right? It was just, you know, use Dijkstra. Okay, 1027, good. It's just use Dijkstra to, to solve the problem. I don't, hmm. I'm puzzled. Maybe maybe people are just, if if they can't do these, they stop doing them. I don't know. This map says I think a lot of people have given up. That's too bad. That's too bad because you don't have to do every puzzle. You just do the ones that you enjoy.